I just got the uh, Gen Y Mega Duty for a two inch receiver. It's a 16,000 pound capacity, has six slots. I got the support brackets and a step on with the double ball. So I'm just gonna pull these out and uh, put it on. This kit comes with a double sided ball, the two inch, two and five eighths. It's also on one of the upper holes you can put a pimple tooth that locks it so you can have a pimple hitch. The actual drop pitch runs 350. 350 bucks for that. It includes these two pieces and then two regular aluminum pins. I think they're inside right now. I'm not using the aluminum pins. I bought all new locks for it. I'm gonna run four bolt locks. And the bolt locks go off of your ignition key. So you just stick your key in and set it one time. This is the GH030 step. And then I got I got four of these bolt locks. And then this is the uh, support brackets. The arms that bolt to your frame. already put together. So they recommend anything over a 12 inch drop. You use these brackets, it's just these two arms. You bolt it up to the frame on that end. They have pins to release them here. And then this two inch receiver goes into here. And that's why I got the fourth lock. I'm gonna lock the ball, the step, the hitch to the, tr to the truck, and then these supports, these are around $200 for the kit. These are actually a lot thicker than I thought they were going to be. So these are the brackets that bolt to the frame. Shipping weight on this box is 40 pounds, so this is pretty heavy duty stuff. They're adjustable on both ends. pins they gave on the uh, on the hitch too if you just like all one pins I'm not gonna use them
does in the back end of that drop hitch. So if this is the back of the truck, it slips in there, and then the arms go up to each frame rail. And a bunch of cardboard. For these bolt locks, all you gotta do, there's a sticker, you take that off, there's a piece of rubber. You just put your ignition key all the way in and then crank it clockwise till it stops and then you can pull it out. And now, that's locked. Pretty awesome. So I'm gonna put the step one and the ball and all that and see how we're looking. I was either gonna put the step on the top or the second one. I think I might have to do the second one. Let's see. I do have a panel trailer that's not put together right now. So right now I'm gonna leave this off. I'm gonna put this on. And then the last one's gonna be this coming through the back. Like that. And then my supports will go up. That would be with the pintle and the arms are going to go up like this. This is like right, like right above my kneecap, so it's a pretty high step. put these arms on and get it all buttoned down and see where I'm at here. I'll come back when it's all done. All right, I got the hitch all installed with the stabilizer arms. Uh, this is just grade eight bolts through there. It bolts up to the hitch. And then I Tighten these down and it pulls it back slightly and it like makes this thing like rock solid. And the step height is like right at my knee. It's a pretty good height to be able to hop up on the tailgate. So overall, I think it was a little $814 and change. Pretty happy with it. Obviously I have to pull off this to hook up the trailer, but when I'm telling, I'll just have that off. If you guys want to see more videos, like, comment, subscribe.